organization that uh, your students are going to or the health care job. So, you know, the disappointing game that we kind of really need to have Man, I don't even know where to start, man. Those goddamn lions. <sighs> Detroit Lions lose to the fucking Vikings. I'm not even going to say the Vikings. The Detroit Lions lost to Adrian Peterson. Even though he didn't score a touchdown, he got them close enough so they can score. Every time. 25 yards here. 30 yards there. The Lions need to get their shit together. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I don't want to sound like a lot of these Detroit fans I'm hearing on the radio and stuff like that, man. I mean, but at the end of the day, the Lions coaching staff need to get their shit together. And I'm going to tell you why. Number one, Adrian Peterson. Adrian Peterson run the football all up your ass like it's nobody's business. You had one guy to stop, which was Adrian Peterson. Teddy Bridgewater didn't even throw for 200 fucking yards yesterday. Guess who beat the Lions? Adrian Peterson. You knew where they was going. You knew who they game plan for. Adrian Peterson. So, why the hell couldn't a whole football team stop one damn guy? Let's see. It's a couple of reasons. One reason, because you can't get your team to fucking tackle. Nobody wraps up. I've seen guys bouncing off of Peterson like fucking ping pong balls because you want to try to go into this guy with your shoulder. Adrian Peterson is an ox. You don't tackle Adrian Peterson like that. You're a professional football player. You should know that. They don't wrap up. We've seen it with the Chargers. They still can't tackle. They look like the, the, the 2004 Lions, I guess. Non-tackling defensive players. That's crazy to me. Number two. The Detroit Lions need to stop fucking lying about DeAndre Levy. They say it's a rumor about the parasite. Okay. They say he has a hamstring injury. This guy's been out since fucking preseason. If you ask me, yes, DeAndre Levy has a fucking parasite. He hasn't been working out at practice. He's been on the fucking sideline just standing there. Parasite. Fucking around in Chile, somewhere he ain't got no business being in the off season. Riding on top of planes, eating all the foreign foods, and all of that stuff. I just don't get it. All right, uh, number three, the offensive line. It's fucking terrible. I know we missing a star uh, offensive lineman. We missing Pettigrew, which helps out a lot with blocking. He bullies a lot. Eric Ebron ain't shit when it comes to, to blocking. Okay, so I give you that. I'm not going to jump down Staff Matthew Stafford's throat like all you know the typical fans do, the stupid ass fans do, because... Matthew Stafford got his ass whooped yesterday. Every time you looked up, Matthew Stafford had his fucking shoulder put into the ground. Why? Because no one blocked. They was rushing five, six guys at a time, blitzing. Nobody did nothing. Matthew Stafford got his ass handed to him. Yeah, he threw a few passes low. But he didn't throw all of them low. He threw one straight to Calvin Johnson, and Calvin Johnson dropped it. This straight up dropped it. Not saying like, oh, it's Calvin Johnson's fault the offense wasn't flowing. No. 
The offensive line was the reason why the offense wasn't flowing. So, I mean, you got to get these guys healthy. You got guys sitting out with fucking ankle injuries. What the fuck is that? Where do you do that at? I done played with fucking ankle injuries shit half my teenage life. Yeah, it's a big guy. It's a lineman. Okay, yeah, still, it's a fucking ankle injury. How long do you have to be out for a fucking ankle injury? You know, and I know it may seem like I'm angry. Yeah, I am angry. Because I'm fucking making videos and I'm, dra I'm drafting some of these, these guys in my fucking fantasy draft. And y'all ripping me to fucking shred, to shreds. So, it's just frustrating. It's, it's really frustrating for a team for to have that much talent to lose two winnable games like that. One, you was up fucking 21-3. to three. And then next game, you got punched in the mouth right from the get-go. And didn't do nothing about it. That's crazy. Only one I seen giving effort was Golden Tate. But since we still on the offense, number four. Jim Caldwell. This is a message for Jim Caldwell. Leave that fucking rookie shit alone. I don't give a fuck if he's a rookie. I don't care what you think you're doing. Or what you think you know. Amir Abdullah is better than fucking Joy Bell. Give the ball to Amir Abdullah. Give him some fucking carries. Joy Bell did nothing yesterday. Not a damn thing. Nothing. Theo Reddick had a good play. Then he fumbles. Amir Abdullah barely fucking touched the rock. Fuck that kick return shit. Put somebody else back there. Put Golden Tate back there. Put Theo Reddick back there. Your primary back right now should be Amir Abdullah because he's the only one explosive enough to get out of the backfield from behind them sorry-ass offensive linemen you got. Give the ball to Abdullah. Simple and plain. It's not hard. Number five, offense. Joe Lombardi is not the fucking guy for the job. I said this last season, and I'm going to say it again this season. His play calling, the plays that he draw up, do not fit the talent of the Detroit Lions roster. If the, if if Linehan, oh God, man. If Linehan had Amir Abdullah, Ebron, Tate, Calvin Johnson, do you know how fucking explosive that offense would be right now? You have to think about that because he had Pettigrew, Stafford, Calvin Johnson, and then he had, uh, uh, what's the damn nutcase boy? Oh, I can't even think right now, man. Titus Young. Titus Young. I mean, this, I'm talking about this is the season where Matthew Stafford threw 5,000 fucking yards. Offense was clicking. You got Reggie Bush 2.0. You got an upgrade. Why is your offense so dead? It's, it's a dud. No creative plays. No no plays drew, drew up for Calvin Johnson down the field. It's always shit, 10 and across the middle or some 5 and out bullshit. Man, that's not Calvin Johnson fucking, that's, that's not what you do with Calvin Johnson. Give Calvin Johnson to fucking Tom Brady and watch what happened. Or Aaron Rodgers. Let's see if they throw him some fucking five-yard plays. Or, I mean, it's bullshit. That offense is bullshit. It's straight up bullshit. And there's no other way to put it. And, I mean, you know, Jim Caldwell, you got to say something. You got to do something. Because, I mean, it's no reason that offense should not be clicking. That roster that Mayhew built is fucking beautiful. And you're ruining it. Your offensive coordinator is fucking ruining it. He's ruining it. And that's, that's simple and plain. 
It ain't no other way to put it, man. You know what I'm saying? We got to get that ball moving. We got to run that football. And if you're going to do that, you got to have Amir Abdullah to fucking do it. Bell is a complimentary guy. I love him. Detroit native. Represent the city. But he's a backup. He is not a starting running back. Flat out. I know my eyes red. It ain't from anger. You know, I just got off work this morning. So I had to sit at work all night. Huh? Yeah, give me a second. I had to sit at work last night and deal with all these asswads at work yesterday. These Green, Green Bay Packers fans. You know, Green Bay this, Green Bay that. Y'all are gonna y'all gonna go zero and five. If <laughs> give me one second. Like I said, it's just, it's unbelievable, man. Two teams that you should have fucking beat, you lose to. And then you expect to fucking beat Denver, the Seahawks, and the Cardinals. The Lions fuck around and be 0-5. 0-5 like a motherfucker. And that's just being real. Because I don't. The defense can get there. I honestly don't feel like they did too bad of a job. They made shit. Adrian Peterson coughed the ball up three times, even though he ran the ball like he did. But you missing what the number one tackle, uh, the number one guy in the NFL in tackles, and that's Levy. Led the league in fucking tackles. That's your second line of defense. You didn't have a second line of defense yesterday. Because once Adrian Peterson got past them defensive linemen, he was gone. Them linebackers didn't do shit. Tulloch is just coming back from a fucking injury. It's going to take him a while to get back to Tulloch. So with, with DeAndre Levy out, it's like, what the fuck? It's crazy, man. You know, and like I said, you, them Green Bay fans, they they all, all Brandon Raven talking about, yeah, the Lions going to fuck around and be 0-16 again and stupid shit like that, man. I honestly feel like they have a chance to win, but you know, two of the games or three of the games. Um, they have a chance to beat the Cardinals. Even though the Cardinals beat the shit out the Bears. But they have a chance to beat the Cardinals. They have a chance to beat the Seahawks. The reason why I say they have a chance to beat the Seahawks because I watched the Green Bay and, and um, Seattle game. That, that, I'm not impressed with that offense. They can't score. They cannot score the fucking football. And if this damn offense we got can get clicking, we can outscore them. So, you know, and I don't know how significant Eddie Lacy's injury is. You know, the injuries that the, that the Green Bay Packers dealing with from yesterday. But if it is significant and they fuck around and not have Lacy's, that's a plus for us. Because the only guy you have to watch out for shit is Jones. Not even Cobb. It's fucking Jones. So, you know, hey, man, you got a legitimate chance to win, but you have to get your shit together. I don't want to watch the press conference today and hear Levy, oh, we don't know shit. You know something. Quit that bullshit. You know something. We need our offensive linemen back. We need our fucking defensive linebackers back. We have to have that. That defense has to be complete as a unit. And the head of that unit is cut off right now. So, I mean, you know, 
I just had to come on here, man, and just just tell it like it is, man. Straight up and down. I'm telling the fans here in Detroit, in the UK, whoever watched this video, get the fuck off of Matthew Stafford. It is not Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford took an ass whooping for you, so you need to shut up. First game, he got his, his ass handed to him. But this game, this guy, I mean, bloody and everything. He was fucking him up. You can't expect a quarterback to be accurate and to throw touchdown bombs. And when as soon as he say fucking hype, he got a 300-pound guy right in his fucking face. He getting pushed out of bounds and shit. I mean, it's the same shit. They, they look like they took a step back. Maybe you should have kept Ryo the fat ass in the middle. He was dirty, but shit. Offensive line looked better last year than you do now. <laughs> Straight up, man. I mean, that's just crazy, man. I don't even want to watch. I'm sitting here looking at the TV. I don't even want to watch NFL Network because I already know they're going to... I already know the bullshit they going to say. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. The fucking teams that won yesterday. Browns, Jaguars, Bucks, fucking Raiders. That's just four of the garbage teams that won yesterday. And the Lions get their ass whooped by the Vikings. Unfucking believable. I ain't got nothing else to say, man. You know, I'm gonna hit y'all, hit y'all up probably midweek uh, with the week three uh, preview. But th I just had to do this review now, man, because it's just, it's really fucking, it's chewing at me. That was the most disgusting shit I ever watched yesterday. So, like I said, man, you know, I'm going to still be a Detroit fan to the core. Even though, you know, if the team terrible, hey, whatever. It's not their time if it's not their time. So, but I'm not going to say after two games that they're not going to make the playoffs, especially not in that division. So, like I said, man, it's all about health. I said that in my first video. It's all about fucking health. That team has to stay healthy. And them little ticky-tack ass injuries. If Matthew Stafford, if your fucking quarterback is tough enough to fight through shit, why the fuck you got big ass linemen out with ankle injuries, dude? What the fuck is that? What the f Anyway, man, I'll holler at y'all, man.